If you want to buy cheap NBA 2K20 MT, hop on over to NBA2King.com and use code HTB for 5% off your order. Hey, what's up guys? Henry the Blazian here, and I know it's been a minute, actually more like a day, actually more like a week, but welcome back to another episode of The Wheel of My Team, man. I know it's been a couple days since our last upload, and I am sorry, but ever since they dropped those Larry Bird Spotlight Sims, I had to get that out of the way, and I've just been super burnt out from 2K, but now we back with another episode, man. And last episode, we finished off with a record of 7-1, and one. so we only need three more wins, and we can go into the playoffs and chase the champion with Kobe Bryant and Pau Gasol and the crew man now last episode we also ended up doing the broadcast challenge which was a very fun challenge to do but one thing I noticed we didn't do guys is we did not get 5,000 likes on the last video when we get 5,000 likes we get to open a free pack and now we don't get to open a free pack for a chance to pull that goat magic Johnson but you know what I trust that you guys will get 5k likes on this video so that the pack god HDB can open another pack for next episode and things can get crazy again but uh, yeah guys wheel of my team i am excited to continue the series so without further ado man let's just dive into today's episode and you guys already know that it always starts with the wheel of my team wheel all right so before we get into spinning this wonderful wheel that you guys can see in front of you one thing i do want to tell you guys quickly is if you go look at my channel you can see that i've now got a new channel banner a subscriber made it for me so i want you guys to let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think of it is it a dub an l or an n an n means neutral an n means you don't care but uh, yeah, let's get into spinning this bad boy and let's see what's in store for us as far as adding a new player and it's going to land on Canadian. Yes. Oh, Canada. Oh, uh, oh, Canada. We'll get to add a Canadian player onto our team. And honestly, I know exactly who that's going to be. He just came out recently. He was supposed to be Kobe Bryant's teammate. I'm taking none other than Galaxy Opal Steve Nash, man. You know I had to show love to the greatest Canadian of all time. The person who was supposed to be Kobe's great teammate alongside Dwight Howard, but that did not end up working out too well. I think I'm going to start him just because I like his jump shot better and this Nash can actually play defense so that should be interesting our lineup right now I'm not gonna lie it just looks absolutely deadly I don't think there's really anything that can stop me I'm definitely gonna need a new big man soon because my bigs off the bench are just not it and Michael Porter honestly is not the greatest rebounder but uh now that we've picked up this new player we can now jump into the challenge, the challenge. wheel no, no. Ah, uh, the good old challenge wheel. I missed you, but I also didn't really miss you because you make my life difficult sometimes. But uh, let's go ahead and spin this bad boy and see what weird task is in store for us today. It's looking like horse for one quarter. Okay, so this is going to be different. The way this works, guys, is if my opponent makes a shot, I have to make the exact same shot on the other end. Means if he does not shoot a three on one end, I cannot shoot a three on the other end. I essentially have to copy every single shot he takes, whether he makes it or not. So that's definitely going to be interesting. If we're up against a tough opponent, that's going to be tough. But uh, we've got the challenge. That's an interesting one. I'm looking forward to it. Without further ado, boys and girls, let's hop into a game and let's see what the wheel of my team squad has in store for us today man let's get into it all right in our matchup today is looking like john wall t mac porter spicy p and kevin McHale. that's a solid lineup let's get to work man all right ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another HTV gameplay i'm gonna be trying the horse challenge here in the first quarter so because he took a moving mid-range i gotta take one too same spot not greening it though see this is where it can get bad because if i don't make the same shots i'm gonna lose He's taking a mid-range right there again. Is this the 90s? Hello? But you know what? All right. I'm game. Behind the back there. And mid-range right here. That's a moving one. It's dropping, though. Let's go, Kobe. Bait that. Good defense right there. We don't have to play horse every time we get a steal. Easy dunk because there's nothing to copy. I can't turn the ball over because he did. He's going for a three there with Michael Porter. He's missing it. This gives me the chance to take the lead because if I make my three, we're Gucci. Stop. Kobe Bean, not a green, but it's a bucket. 32% covered. Let's go, baby. Good defense there by Michael Porter. He's shooting a contested three. Means I got to shoot a three again. Look at him reaching. My goodness. Kobe, stop. Pop, not a green, but it's a bucket again. Kobe's turning up. Let's get in the post right here. He turned the ball over, so all I really have to do is score. That's going to be easy. 
Good steal right there. Once again, we don't have to copy the horse challenge because we stole the ball. Pump fake. Oh, stepping back. Kobe Green. What a finesse. Yo, Kobe is turning up today. He's shooting a mid-range there. I'm okay with a midi. If a midi is going down, I'll take it, especially when Kobe has takeover. All I gotta do is shoot a mid-range. So let me finesse him in the post because all I'm gonna do is step back and shoot the mid-range. Watch this. Step back. Got him. Mid-range. Buckets. Yo, Kobe is literally hitting everything contested. I don't know what's wrong with this game. There's actually so much wrong with this game. He's getting in the post, going for a post hook. It's not going down, but I will have to do the same thing on the other end as he fouls. But on a serious note, guys, this might be my favorite thing about doing Wheel of My Team is doing different challenges like this because it makes the gameplay so much more fun. We attempt the post hook. We're going to score, though. Bait that. Good defense there. Roy, steal it. Steal it, Roy. Look at you, Roy. You're a god. Kobe, you got to cut through next time. We don't have to do anything. Easy dunk right there in transition, man. Kobe's got 16 points in the first quarter. If he can miss one shot here, we can get one good bucket here to end off the quarter. Is he shooting a mid-range? Oh... Good defense right there. He's shooting a mid-range, man. All we got to do is shoot a mid-range to end this quarter off. This was an easy challenge, especially because we're up 12 points. Make that 14 to end off the first. And that was off me taking all the same shots he took. All right, guys. We're in the second quarter now. No longer do we have to do the horse challenge. I'm not going to lie. That was actually kind of fun. Going to have to do that some more in the future. Gasol, show him what you can do. That fadeaway, too beautiful, man. All right, this guy's starting to score a little bit. I do want to see what the Steve Nash can do for this team, though, because right now he's got zero points. He's got three assists, though, which is nice. Cross him up. Steve Nash, I know you can dunk, too. Oh, goes for the layup, but I'll take the bucket. This guy's starting to hit a lot more of his shots. He's got Kirilenko coming off the bench. Let's run a nice little pick and roll here with Kobe and Gasol. He's sending a double. Porter, you're wide open. Please knock it down. Let's go, man. I've been having a hard time greeting shots with people recently. This guy's Wes Unsell, Taco, Eddie Curry, and Taco Fall all coming off the bench, man. He had a powerhouse like this, and he really didn't start him. That's tough. Wes Unseld, RIP. I'm sorry I got to do this to you, but you know I respect you. Get around that screen. There we go. Nash, beautiful jumper green bean. Made the pass. Oh, good defense right there. There we go. Steve Nash, can you dunk? Let's try it. Oh, my goodness. Taco Fall didn't even let me have the chance, man. All right, let's get in the post here. He's already jumping. Let me just fade away on that. Not a green, but it's a bucket. All right, so Eddie Curry ends up reaching a little bit too much there. We got some free throws to close this quarter off. Got the bench in here, Jason Kidd and Sharif Abdurrahim. We're going to see how they play. That was a terrible free throw. It's going down, though. Bait the pass. Good defense. Come on. Let's get a bucket. Go all the way. Oh, Kidd, I see you in the corner for a mid-range. Green, Bean, let's go. He has Taco at the four, man. Oh, that's going to be a big mismatch there for Michael Porter. I'm going to have to put Gasol on him here, but we still do have a solid lead here. 11 point lead let's not mess anything up all the way to the rim there kobe bean all right this guy's team starting to put on a run we got to focus up if we want to win that taco fall is definitely frustrating around that screen faked him there we go kobe get crazy okay or acrobatic that works too pump fake right back to kid for three. Oh, that jumper is kind of slow but it's going down let's go kid so I brought my whole bench in here. This includes that Amethyst Joel Embiid. I got Kobe at the three so that Lonzo can get some minutes here. Hit that screen. All the way, kid. Oh, okay. And one. Yo, maybe I should be starting Jason Kidd instead of Steve Nash, man. This Jason Kidd is actually low-key. Nice free throw. Going down. Let's go. Bait that. Thank you. Jason Kidd is turning up. All the way through. Hop into it. Oh, I thought he was going to put it down, but he scores like Eddie Curry isn't even there. I expected Embiid to play a lot worse, but he's actually playing pretty good against this Curry. Look at that roll to the basket. Not putting it down. He's got a bucket, though. Let's push the pace here, man. Embiid in transition once again. Putting it down, man. I guess Embiid does deserve minutes. Lock up, guys. Good defense right there, bro. My bench is actually showing up, which you love to see. All the way, Jason Kidd. He's putting it down. Jason Kidd has 14 points off the bench. Lock up Embiid, man. You love to freaking see it. He's going to foul me right there. And we got some free throws here going into the fourth quarter. Knock these free throws down. We'll get our starters in here and life will be good. But I'm not going to lie. I'm actually impressed by what a current Series 2 card was able to do. I see Nash. Show me why you deserve to be a starter, man. Oh, hit that screen. There we go. And stop. Is he going to jump? Oh, he's not. Yes, he is. There we go. Got him. Easy three right there. Easy bucket. No way. He goes all the way. Good defense there by Roy, man. All right. Let's go crazy this quarter. Michael Porter Jr., I know you like to dunk. Get off me, Eddie. Get off me. Nice rebound there, man. Let's keep doing our thing. Kobe, it's the fourth quarter. It's your quarter. Stop and pop green B. My favorite size up. He doesn't know what to do. Which way am I going? I'm gone. All the way to the basket and soft layup is going down, though. I'll give this guy credit, though, for making this game entertaining. But my wheel of my team squad right now is just looking too nice as Kobe continues to pour it on. 
This is gonna be a very big win though, man. Advances to eight and one, only two more games until we are in the playoffs. Brandon Roy for three. Dimer me mama. All right, and ladies and gentlemen, we end up walking away with a dub there, 76 to 64, all while completing the horse challenge. And now that means we've got three packs to open and our record now sits at eight and one. Life is good, baby. All right, so walking away with the dub is definitely a great feeling. This means we're gonna get to open three packs. Now out of the three packs, I feel like it's really gonna be one because in these packs is all these cards. On top of that, there are deluxe packs. So you're guaranteed a diamond or higher player. For the last pack, I might open a prime player just to get Kawhi Leonard or Siakam. They are the 2019 champions after all, so that wouldn't be too bad. For League Series 2, I don't really want anyone in here, especially Rudy Gobert. Corey Maggette is a dub, but the chances of us actually pulling that card are very slim. So we're going to start off with a Showtime Deluxe Pack. Can we clutch out and pull Galaxy Opal Magic? Does not look like it. We're starting off with a diamond, which is the lowest tier. It is green. It's going to be a Celtic. Now, this is not really a dub because it's going to be a point guard. And I've got enough point guards on my team. I have Lonzo, Jason Kidd, and now I have Steve Nash and this Kyrie Irving. Too many guards, man. All right, pack number two. Please be good to me. If we can get a pink diamond or higher, it would make a great impact on my team as we get a diamond in the middle once again. And it's going to be green. We got the, oh my gosh, this is hot poo poo. Kyrie Irving twice in a row. So uh, right now our options, to be honest, they're not looking so good. All right, guys, one more chance, man. If this fails, I, this is gonna suck. Anything but a Kyrie Irving, to be honest, would be nice. Let's see what this one ends up being. Anything, please be better than a diamond. It's a gold, it's a gold, it's another gold. All right, so it's on the right. Please be the very last one. Oh, let's go! Let's go, Galaxy Opal! Once again, we clutch it out on the wheel of my team series. Oh, you love to see it, man. You love to see it. Now, this could be very big things, okay? This, no matter what we get, it is a very big dub to our team. We get Shaq, that's a dub. We get Chris Webber, that's a dub. We get Jimmy Butler, that's a dub. We get Richard Lewis, that's a lot of MT and a dub. We get Magic Johnson, I'm probably gonna scream, man. But without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's reveal who's gonna be joining the wheel of my team squad. Bang, baby! I'm seeing the color purple, that can only mean one thing. From the Sacramento Kings, we are going to be getting Galaxy Opal Chris Webber, man. And honestly, that's still a great option. That's going to be a huge dub. The fact that we pulled an Opal on the series again is a big dub. This is why we got to be getting it to 5,000 likes. Because imagine if I could open a pack at the very beginning and we pull another Opal. But Chris Webber, man, what a dub. Oh, man, this is about to be a great feeling. No longer do we need Amethyst, Joakim, Noah. And actually, I'm going to start Chris Webber over Michael Porter. Michael Porter really does not rebound like that. Then I'm going to move Porter to the three, Sharif at the four, and then we got Embiid, who's really the last person we need to upgrade at the five. And the rest of our roster is looking nice. As if we've pulled one, two, three Galaxy Opals out of packs in this series so far. Like, that is absolutely insane, man. That's why we gotta be getting 5,000 likes every time. Because if I can open a pack at the beginning of the episode, the pack luck is juiced. I'm not gonna lie, if we got Magic Johnson, I would have been screaming at the top of my lungs. But all around, still a very good episode. The horse challenge was super fun. We walked away with a dub. We got a Galaxy Opal in a pack. What else is there more to say except for big, big dubs, man? Once again, I appreciate all of you that show a ton of love to the channel. This is gonna be the end of the video, so if you guys did enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like and for you new viewers you know you gotta hit that subscribe button and join the blazion nation man i want to thank you guys for watching i hope you all have an awesome day and take care